okay guys i welcome you all to engineers academy now we are going to solve this seventh problem from chapter 15 Hamler dynamics and the problem says that crates a and b wave 100 pound and 50 pound respectively if they starts from rest so the masses of the weights of a and b let me write w a is 100 pounds w b is 50 pound and they start from rest so the initial velocity is of both the blocks v a or we can say that v one of a equals to v one of b let me write like this this is v a one equals to v b one and this is equal to zero so we are required to determine their speeds when t equals to five seconds so after five seconds we have to find their speed. So we have to find VB2 and VA2 after 5 seconds. And it is said that also find the force exerted by crate A on crate B. So we have to find the force of A on B. And the coefficient of kinetic friction between the crates and the ground is 0.25 now uh, since this is chapter 15 we have to apply the principle of impulse and momentum so for that i will consider uh, both blocks separately uh, so if i separate block a from block b or create a from create b so we will have uh, in the free body diagram the weight of block a is going to act downward let me show that weight so this is the weight of this block a which is 100 pounds and if if the external force is pushing this crate towards the right so the friction force is going to act in the opposite direction so this is the friction force and this will be 0.25 that is mu k times n and the normal force is going to act this is the normal force which is applied by the surface or by the ground and if if this crate is pushing uh, this crate a is pushing that crate b so that crate B is going to apply the reaction force on this crate A. So this is the F of B on A. And here we will have F of A on B. And similarly, the weight of block B is going to act downward and that is 50 pound. And we will have the normal force. This is the normal force on A and this is the normal force on B. So this is the normal force on A. And if, if both the crates are moving towards the right, so we will have the friction force on B in the opposite direction and that will be 0 0.25, that is mu K times N B. Now for crate A, let me write that for crate A we are going to apply the principle of uh, impulse and momentum so that will be m m of a into v1 of a or we can say that v a1 plus the summation of the impulses on the crate a due to the external forces so let me write this as f dt and this will be from 0 to 5 seconds since we are we want to find uh, VB and VA uh, of both the crates at stage 2 are after applying the impulse after 5 seconds. So this will be MA and this will be VB, uh, sorry, VA of 2. So this is the initial momentum of crate A and uh, the initial momentum of crate A plus the net impulse and that will be equal to the final momentum of crate A. So the initial velocities are zero, so this will become zero. And uh, we are considering this in the horizontal direction. We are applying this uh, principle of impulse and momentum in the horizontal direction. This is, let's say, our positive x and y direction. So we are applying it in the positive x direction. So this is our positive x direction. So now if uh, we look into this uh, block A or crate A, so the external force is in the x direction is FBA and this P force. So the, this FBA and they are applied for a time period of 5 seconds. So they are, they, they, these are the forces they are producing the impulse, right? So 
and one another external force is this friction force, right? So this P, uh, the impulse due to that force P, which has a magnitude of 50 pounds, so that is 50 into dt, and this is from 0 to 5 seconds. This is the impulse due to that P force, uh, plus the impulse due to this FBA, and that is acting in the negative x direction, so I will write minus, and that is FBA. And if we look into this, so this FBA and this FAB, they are the action and reaction forces, so their magnitudes will be equal. So we can say that FBA, this will be equal to FAB, and let's say this is equal to F. So I will, I will replace this by F, right? So this is F, that is the force applied by A on B or B on A, that is the magnitude. So since it is constant, uh, this is times dt, if it is constant, we can write it outside of the integration. And this is again from 0 to 5 seconds. And now the external force, the friction force is also the external force. So we need to find the impulse by this friction force. So that is minus and 0 0.25 Na. So Na. And this is from 0 to 5 seconds. And again, 0 0.25 uh, and A, this is constant since the applied force is constant. So this friction would remain constant. This is mu k times and A. So this is dt. And we can write, if it is constant, we can write it outside of integration. So we can write it like this. So this is 0 0.25 and A, and this is from 0 to 5 seconds. And this will be equal to ma. And again, ma, uh, the weight of ma is, the weight of crate A is 100. So 100 divided by 32.2 into the velocity of A at state 2 or in the final state after the application of the impulsive force. So now uh, if we consider this block A and block B as a combined system, so they will move with the same velocity after the application of this 50 pound force. So we can say that VB2 will be equal to VA2 and let's say that is equal to V and that is required. So now we will replace this VA2 by V, right? So this is V. So th this, this is the force which is unknown and this, if we integrate this, we can write this 50 outside, this is 50 into dt. Now if we integrate this, so this will be 50 and this will be t from 0 to 5 and if we put these limits, this would be 5 minus 0. So that would be 5 minus 0 or we can say that this is 50 into 5 this is 50 into 5 minus f and again this is t from 0 to 5 and 5 minus 0 is again f into 5 so that is 5f is minus 5f and this is minus 0 0.25 and a and again the integration of dt is t and from 0 to 5 and if we put these limits that is 5 minus 0 so that is 5 so this is multiply by 5 and this is 100 divided by 32.2 this gives us 3.11 3.11 v now this is in this equation this f is unknown and this v is unknown and we can find this and a if we apply the summation of forces in the y direction equals to m a y and since there is no acceleration in the y direction so this will be equal to zero so now we can say that this is our positive y direction so and a is acting in the positive y direction and the weight of crate a is acting in the downward direction so this is 100 and this is equal to zero so from this we can say that and a the reaction of the ground on the block or crate a is 100 pounds so now if I put that in A in this equation, so this is 50 into 5, so this is 250 minus 5F minus 0 0.25 and A is 100 into 5 and this is 3.11V. So now we can add up these constants that is 250 minus 0 0.25 into 100 into 5. So this is 125, 125 minus 5F equals to 3.11V. 
So if I bring this 5f to the other side of equation, so the equation look, look, will look like this. This is 5f plus 3.11v equals to 125. Let's say this is equation 1. Now we will consider uh, grade B and again we will apply the principle of impulse and momentum. So again I will write MB VB initial velocity plus the summation of the impulsive forces uh, or we can say that the summation of the impulses due to the external forces on block B from 0 to 5 seconds and this will be equal to the mass of grade B times uh, VB that is the final momentum that is. So as we have considered that VB2 is equal to VA2 is equal to V so I will replace this by V. This is V. So again the initial velocity of grade B is 0 so this will become 0 and now the external force is in the since this is in the horizontal direction so in the horizontal direction the external forces are this FAB and this uh, friction force. So we, we need to find the impulse due to these two external forces which is which are acting in the horizontal direction. So we will write that FAB and FAB is equal to F. So I will replace this FAB by F. So this is F times dt from 0 to 5 seconds and minus this friction force that is the impulse due to that friction force that is 0 0.25 NB into dt and this is from 0 to 5 and this will be equal to mb so the weight of block d is 50 so 50 divided by 32.2 into v now we need to find nb in this equation before integrating let me find this nb so again if we apply uh, the summation of forces along y equals to m a y since there is no acceleration in the y direction so this will be equal to 0 and this nb this NB is acting in the positive Y direction, so we will write NB minus the weight. So that is equal to 0. So we can say that NB is equal to 50 pound. So now I can put this NB here. So this is NB in this is 50. And since this is this product is constant, it is not changing with time. So we can uh, keep them outside of integration. So now the integration is like this. This is from 0 to 5. And we can write this f outside of integration since it is constant as well. So now if we integrate this, so this will give us t. And if we put this limit, so that will become 5. t value will become 5. So this is 5f minus. And this is 0 0.25 into 50. And again, when we integrate this, so this will be t. And this is from 0 to 5. And if we put these limits, that will be 5 minus 0. So this is into 5 and this is equal to 50 divided by 32.2 this gives us 1.55 1.55 v and this is uh, let's simplify this this is 0 0.25 into 5 into 50 this is 62.5, so this is minus 62.5. And now if I rearrange this equation, so this is 5, this is 5f. And if I bring this to this side of equation, this is minus 1.55v equals to 62.5. Let's say this is equation 2. Now if, if I subtract equation 1 from equation 2, so equation 1 is 5f plus 3.11v equals to 125. So now if we subtract this, this is equation 1, so we have to change the sign. So this will become plus, minus, minus, and this is plus, minus. So this will cancel out, and this is, uh, we, we can add, it, add, add this. This is uh, minus 1.55 minus 3.11. This gives us minus 4.66 V minus 4.66 V and this is equal to uh, 62.5 minus 125. This gives us uh, minus 62.5 minus 62.5 and to get this V uh, we need to divide both sides of equation by minus 4.66. So this is minus 62.5. 
divided by minus 4.66 so this is uh, this answer divided by minus 4.66 this gives me velocity which is 13.41 so 13.41 feet per second so this is the velocity with which both of these blocks are moving together now to find the force of create a on b we have to find that f in both of these equations either we have to find this f since this is that same f so by using equation one we can find that f so 5f is equal uh, this is plus 3.11 v equals to 125 and if i bring this to this side so this is minus 3.11 v and if i divide both sides of equation by 5 so we will be able to find that f a b equals to f b a and equals to that f force so this is 125 125 minus 3.11 v so v value is now known which is 13.41 we have just determined it divided by 5 this gives me 16.66 16.66 pound force is applied by crate A on crate B. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet.